Mark Cerny, the lead system architect of the PlayStation 4, has worked on many games over the years, from programming Marble Madness to being creative director on Knack, the very first PS4 game that was shown publicly. I recently spoke with him about the very core of the PS4 experience, the games. Why was it important for you to also have a game coming out in the launch period? Is that not too much work to give yourself? Well, I mean, I, I had a heart-to-heart -heart with the chairman of Sony Computer Entertainment at the start of the project and, and asked him for his advice. And, and he felt that my long-term contribution to the company um, would be stronger uh, if I continued working on games because a lot of what I bring to the hardware architecture is an understanding of how games are built. So he advised I kept making games. And then I started looking around for a, a small title that I could build at the same time. Uh, I ended up working with a team in Tokyo just because I had to be in Tokyo every month anyway for the hardware work. And so while working on that, did you encounter any things that then kind of fed back and influenced the design of the PlayStation 4? The, um, the biggest thing that came out of that was that um, when I was talking to first party game teams and third party game teams about the console, I didn't have to talk as architect, I could talk about somebody with direct experience using the hardware and the system software and the development environment. So for example, if I talked about um, the ease of development on a console, that was something that I'd experienced on Knack, which had actually had a very small programming team for the first half of the project. Or when I talked about play as you download or using our true friends network again, I could talk about what we were doing in our game, which since it's a smaller game, most of the part teams I was talking to would have no problem at all um, taking the approach that we took. You've talked about the renaissance in gaming and the way that the gaming landscape has changed over the, uh, you know, the past few console iterations. Um, you've got, on one side, you've got AAA gaming that gets you know, geometrically bigger every, every generation, and you've got smaller indie games. So you've kind of got this bifurcated landscape. Um, do you think that will persist, that you'll have these small indie titles and huge AAA, or is that landscape still being formatted? Is it still changing? Well, definitely the more successful indie teams, many of them will grow and start filling that up from the bottom. The question is just how far does it go? Do, do those indie titles ever end up with half of the budget of the big bu uh, the uh, AAA titles, or is the, the cost um, always going to be substantially lower? Are there any particular trends that you can imagine happening with this particular console that you've designed? I think we're already seeing some trends. Uh, I went to um, Ubisoft's press conference at E3, and it was very inspiring. It was all about these um, games where single player and multiplayer are kind of blending together. Yes, you're playing alone, but then you hook up with some people and you do missions, and then you're back playing alone again. I think we'll see a lot of that. I think we'll also see a lot of living software, which is, I guess, what Destiny is doing, where um, they're really leveraging the fact there's a hard drive in every console, so uh, they're continuously updating that world. Every time you go back to the game, my understanding is new missions, new places to explore, and so on. And I think that's going to be very prevalent in the PlayStation 4 generation. Since you've been designing it, obviously, um Con, um, tablets, mobile phones, those kind of iOS devices, Android, it's kind of proliferated. They're everywhere. Did that really change the design of the PlayStation 4? Um, was there kind of a directive to make it cooperate with those devices? Well, if we put the games aside for a minute, um, we know that pretty much everyone now has smartphones, tablets, and the like. So um, we've created an architecture where you can, you can use our uh, companion application and sort of through the one applications stay in touch with sort of the world of PlayStation and news about your favorite game titles and the like. Also, uh, many of the game teams are making custom applications where the game is mainly played on um, the console, but you can use your uh, smartphone as a second screen, or you can even play games on your tablet which tie into uh, the PlayStation 4 title. 